Okay, hi everyone. We're here. We're doing a little demo today and a little test of a, a little kit that we've had for a number of years. Uh, what this is, it's called a Newick candle. Okay. Basically, it's a 120-hour it's a candle. Here's a better shot of it. Here's the box. It's a 120-hour candle. It comes with an assortment of wicks, matches, and tweezers, which are right here. Okay, you put the little wicks on top of the wax and you, with the tweezer and you, and you kind of light them. And uh, what it is, basically, it's a little stove that comes with it, a little foldable stove that I have here. And if you look real close here, I have three wicks on there now, just sitting on the wax. Uh, there's a little slot for the, the little can to go on, uh, on the stove. And I lit the wicks. And I had this little mess kit back when I was in Boy Scouts. It looks a little surplus mess kit. I have a little dish, uh, a six-ounce cup, and a little pot here with a lid, a little handle. And what I did was I decided to see how long it would take uh, this, this candle with uh, three wicks to boil up some water. And today we're cooking uh, Weiler's Mrs. Grass Noodle Soup Mix. And... We have that in the pot right now, and we started cooking at about 20 after um, 3, and you can see now it's about 340. But initially, I only had two wicks on the candle, and I added a third wick, and uh, it's started to cook a little bit faster. If you look at our pot, you can see the water's already boiling. Here, just let me stir this up a bit. The water's already boiling, and we have our noodles look like they're almost ready to go. Let's give them a little taste and see. Mm. Mm. I'd say about, wow, that's really good. I'd say about five more minutes and this meal is going to be done. Now this would be a nice little kit uh, to keep in your car. Uh, for those of you up north that maybe get a, have a chance of getting stuck in the snow or uh, you know, stranded on the side of the road, you could literally, inside your car, even if it was cold out, light this candle, set this stove up properly, and you could boil some water, uh, make some tea, um, some coffee. If you carry, obviously, if you carry some Lipton soup or some instant food that you only need some water with, you could even melt snow. Uh, you could melt snow in this little cup and then use that water to make your to make your food with. So, if you're up in the north and and needed to do that, that'd be great. Also, you could use this as a candle uh, to, for light. You could use it for a source of heat. There's a number of things you could do with this little little kit here. Uh, I really like it. I think I'm going to pack it in my um, my go bag. Um, I'm going to break it down and pack it. I just didn't know how how um, how dependable the wicks were, and they seem to be very dependable. So for, like I said, it's the first time I've ever used it. I've probably had it for about um, 10, 15 years sitting in a pack. Uh, so I decided to break it out today. I was going through the garage and just going through some old stuff and another pack that I had. And so I'm going to put this in one of my main packs that I keep in the house. And so uh, I thought I'd uh, just give it a little film here and um, show you how it is. And like I said, this, this meal is done. So about 20 minutes and... I got a little over a cup of water in here. I got the Mrs. Grass's soup mix, which is uh, it's in a little box here, and it's actually uh, ready for uh, it's probably about two servings in here. I'm going to eat it up myself right now, and um, we'll just take it from there. Like I said, uh, I highly recommend it. You can get this online, probably at Amazon. I got it at um, one of the survival websites years ago. Um, but again, and this stove here, uh, you could probably use, uh, you know, also the alcohol type gel, uh, like your, um, uh, you know, your alcohol canisters you could put in here and use as a source of heat as well. If you had to in a pinch, I'd even say you could probably use um, some wood in here, make a small fire, and be able to cook on this also. So it's, it's pretty versatile. I, I definitely would, would recommend it. And uh, so that's all for today, and uh, thanks for tuning in to our channel, and I hope these little video shorts help you um, uh, with your uh, preparedness.
Okay? Thanks, and God bless. Take care.